Hey what's happening everyone, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com and in today's video I'm here to bring you guys my first ever Destiny the Taken King armor video. Now back then during Destiny I've been doing a set of armor videos where basically I get the complete set from the headgear all the way to the mark. Make a video because a lot of times people don't know if this is an armor that they want to get. Maybe they want something else. They don't know what the full set's going to look like once they have all the pieces together which is why I've been bringing you guys these videos. So the one that I'm going to be showing you guys today is for the Hunter class and this is a Vanguard armor out of the two versions that they have and this one is known as the Bog Wild 1.0. Now when I first saw this armor in screenshots before the Taken King came out, I was like you know what this is the first thing I want to get and I was actually surprised to be able to complete it within this week. Anyways, let's go ahead and get a closer look. Now the Vanguard armor when you get is going to have a defense of 280. Now do keep in mind that with the new light level system, you can upgrade this using a, a little uh, category called Infuse. So meaning if I wanted to keep using this specific armor set, but I want to level it up, basically what would happen is that if I happen to have another piece of armor of the same category that has a higher defense, I could infuse it, thus making this one instead of 280, to you know 290 or 300 whatever it is that I need it to be anyways before we go into more detail let's go ahead and pan around here and this armor is really really cool and I picked out a couple shaders which I think will go really good with this to give it that ghillie suit look but right here this is the default shader nothing on just what it is by itself nothing special so the uh, helmet we have is the uh, Bog Wild 1.0. Actually, they're pretty much all the name the same thing. But we take a closer look. This is actually one I got from the campaign mission, and I pretty much upgraded it to 283 currently until I get something better to infuse it with. Um, so this one has intellect increase or discipline. This one also has inverse shadow, second thought, and invulgration. Uh, next up is the gauntlets. This one features intellect and discipline. So you have the intellect and discipline boost, impact induction, fastball, and pulse rifle loader. Now, of course, there's variations of these armor sets, so you may get another set of gauntlets that's a bit different than what I have in front of you. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I did have a similar version of this. I had a version that was 280 defense from when I originally purchased, but thankfully enough, one of my legendary engrams turn out to be one with 290 defense but this one also features discipline and strength this one features scout rifle ammo which is good because I like to use scout rifles uh, solar armor which is pretty cool and solar burn defense which I think these are pretty cool and unique abilities then of course you have the boots which feature the discipline and strength you have sidearm ammo which I like using the sidearm and of course the solar double down so if you use gunslinging a lot these tend to be actually pretty good for you and of course we have the cloak known as on the marsh now one thing to keep in mind is that when you're changing the shaders the cloak doesn't change color which i thought was kind of odd but there's a few shaders that make it look pretty good this one right here has intellect and strength scout rifle focus which is good because like i said i use scout rifles all the time shotgun focus and vanguard champion which will increase the reputation which i think is an extra bonus right there so anyways let's go ahead and take a look on how this looks with some shaders so here we have some of the taken king shaders so that's the first one next up is the suros like i said the cloak doesn't change color just at the tubing uh, next you have the debt unpaid actually never the tubing doesn't even change color I think this is a pretty cool shader, just like I said, I wish the cloak would go with it. Then we have the glow. Followed by the old guard. Pretty cool. Then we have the blue marble. Which I really like this one. I just wish the cloak would have the proper green to kind of match with it. Uh, and then we have Burnt Marshmallow, which is an interesting name for a shader. Now, here's, I think, the two best ones. So here we have Polar Oak. Definitely goes well with it. And my personal favorite, Broadsword. Now you have a ghillie suit. 
Anyways, there you guys have it. What do you guys think of this Vanguard armor? Is it something that you guys want to get? Does it interest you? Let me know in the comment section down below. But until then, I am Sir James from GameRefusion.com. Stay tuned because I will be doing other armor videos not only for the Hunter, but I'll also be doing them for the Titan and, of course, the Warlock. But until then, I am Sir James from GameRefusion.com where we empower your gaming. Thank you.